Hi guys and welcome to your weekly weekend news update and prayer time together as a church family. Great to see you. I hope you've had a great week this past week. As you can see behind me we've had quite a change in the weather. It has been cold already over this past week but uh, here's some of the white stuff for you. I hope you're staying wrapped up and staying warm. Um, I'm really excited about what's going to be uh, going on over the course of this coming week and I can't wait to tell you all about it. Strap yourself in because there is a lot going on to tell you about. First off, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who answered the call for the appeal to, to help out with uh, the Youth Bibles after last week's weekend update. Um, all of our Bibles that we had bought for the young people as well as uh, the resources on top of that uh, that we had bought for the young people have now been covered and and uh, I just want to just say a big thank you to everyone who helped out with that. It just shows a, a, a big, uh, a lot of love for our young people as well as support for their leaders as we try to, to help our young people in and through these difficult and challenging times to grow in their faith and to carry on with the Lord in these days. Um, tomorrow morning, uh, as always, 10.30 in the morning, our boiler room prayer is going to be happening again on Zoom. You can find the Zoom link for that on Facebook as well as our website. Uh, be great to have you along. And as I said last week, um, even if you just want to come along and you know, don't need to feel as if you have to pray out loud, but if you just want to listen to the prayers of God's people and pray quietly along with us, it's a beautiful time of prayer and fellowship together in, in that sense. It lasts about half an hour or so long. Uh, so it's not a, a long time, but it's a, it's a sweet time together in prayer. Um, tomorrow we continue with our series in Mark's Gospel and uh, do be looking out for that together again in our uh, services together. Uh, also, uh, the General Vestry Register, as we've been saying over these past weeks, is open at the moment for review and uh, that will be closed on the 24th of this month. If you're not yet a member of our General Vestry, um, it'd be a great time to, to sign up and become part of that. It allows you to be part of the, the closer working of the church as well as to be able to vote when it comes time for our annual general meeting or our Easter vestry as we call it um, and, and so if you're interested in finding out more about that please do be in touch with me you need to be 18 years old or older paying into the church in a financially recordable manner and call St. Mary's your church home do be in touch if you want to be uh, to find out more or indeed if you need to change your details with us if they've changed over this past year. Now, coming into next week, as you may know, uh, next week signals the beginning of Lent as we begin our journey into uh, to, to Easter towards the cross. And uh, so Tuesday, in honor of Shrove Tuesday or Pancake Tuesday, as some like to call it, uh, we're going to be running our, our special flipping amazing pancake toss event. Um, and it's really something for the whole family just to have a bit of fun. I, I want wonder if uh, you're going to be making some pancakes over these next few days. Well, if you would be excited or, or happy to film yourself making your best pancake toss uh, and, and get that back to us uh, before Thursday uh, or by Thursday at least, we're going to put together a mashup of videos of people uh, tossing pancakes uh, from the Paris just for a bit of fun. Uh, so that's something for the whole family, uh, ch children and, and adults alike. Uh, let's, let's film our, our best pancake tosses just to have a bit of fun together and then you'll be able to see the results hopefully next weekend or or, or some stage after that um, on Wednesday is Ash Wednesday then and from nine o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock in the evening we're going to be running a special prayer event uh, a day of prayer and the way this is going to work is this is going to be an informal day of prayer and I just invite you I encourage you to take time out uh, over the course of Wednesday to pray pray uh, for yourself for your family for our community, for our church, for our world. Pray for an end to this pandemic. Pray for God's blessing and hope to shine through into our world. We're going to be doing that later in this time together. But um, throughout the day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post up on Facebook as well as on a WhatsApp group, uh, just little prayer ideas or prayer requests once an hour 
through the whole day on the hour. And if you would like to be a part of that WhatsApp group, there will be a broadcast list, uh, so folks won't be able to see one another's phone numbers or names or anything like that, but there's a broadcast list that I can sign you up to, and I'll just send out every hour uh, a, a prayer update, something to pray about in that and over the course of that hour. It doesn't mean you have to stop and be doing nothing. You can be, be, be praying as you're going about your daily business, uh, or indeed, I would encourage you, yeah, take some time out to just be quiet, before the Lord, uh, maybe over your lunch hour or, uh, or, or something else, or if, even if you can carve out more time over the course of the day to just spend time in prayer and, and maybe even just reading God's word and just meditating God's word and, and, and crying out to him in this season as we prepare our hearts looking forward to the cross. Uh, so I'm really excited about that prayer day together. And uh, again, if you want to sign up for that, uh, for the, the WhatsApp broadcast, we will be doing putting out the, the messages on Facebook as well. But uh, the WhatsApp broadcast, which will come straight to your phone, then just do be in touch with me. Send me a message either over Facebook, uh, over uh, WhatsApp or, or whatever, if you already have my number, or send an email to uh, say hello at stmarysballybean.com. Let me know you want to be a part of that WhatsApp broadcast, and I'll add you your, your name to that list. Um, for Lent coming up then, uh, I, I want to advertise then a Bible reading plan that we want to, to engage in together as a church over these 40 days of Lent. And I know I've been encouraging you this month to read the Bible, to, to, to find a plan, to find some sort of a systematic strategy for being able to read something of the Bible every day in order to engage with God and, and His Word. And uh, over the course of Lent, I've chosen a, a, just a short Bible reading plan on you version and I'm going to link that up uh, on our um, website you can go to our read the Bible or a Bible reading uh, page on our website and the, the Lenten plan will be there I'll put a link there to the you version plan it's a it's a Lent plan that's put out by Redeemer Presbyterian Church in New York which is Tim Keller's church uh, it, each day there's just a, a short number of verses and then there's a, a short devotional and then a prayer at the end that you can pray uh, at at the end of that. It really won't take very long every day to do that, but I guarantee that it, it, going on this journey together as a church family will be so precious and beneficial and, and hopefully encouraging for each one of us as we prepare our hearts for Easter. Um, then on Thursday evening, and this is the, the big one that many of us have been waiting for, Thursday evening Connect is meeting again. And this Thursday evening, we're gonna be holding a table quiz, a, a Connect quiz for our church family. Um, last uh, for, fortnight ago, for the last Connect meeting, we had 34 people online uh, just hanging out together, uh, getting to know one another a bit more, and then praying uh, all together as a church family at the end uh, for, for one another. It was it was brilliant. We I think we had a lot of fun, and we really enjoyed it. And this week is going to be slightly different. The whole night's going to be given to a uh, Connect quiz. And Roy Kirkwood is going to be our quiz master. Uh, and the way it's going to work, is if you would like to come along, all you need to do is just, just let us know that you're planning on coming so that we can uh, manage the practicalities of that. Uh, so just uh, let us know, message us over Facebook, WhatsApp, uh, say hello at stmarysballybean.com. Uh, just, just let us know in any of those ways that you'd like to come along to our Connect quiz and we will get you plugged in and set up. It will explain how it all work on the night. Uh, you don't need to worry about uh, figuring it all out, uh, but it, it, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, that Connect is going to be a special Connect meeting. Because it's the quiz, we're going to give a little bit more time to it, so it'll last no more than an hour and 15 minutes. Again, so it, it won't be uh, too long, but we're giving ourselves about uh, another extra half an hour than normal in order to have a, a bit more time together uh, and, and a bit more fun together. And I do believe there's going to be a prize for, for those who win at the end as well. So uh, a bit of fun to look forward to together as, as a parish this week. Uh, connect on Thursday night. So those are the announcements for this week. Action-packed week, lots going on. I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope that you are too. Um, and just something, hopefully, to, to boost our, our spirits and uh, to keep us going through this difficult time of, of lockdown together. I, I just want to read to you a, a few verses out of Exodus. And we're talking about, you know, in this time, crying out to God. And in my Bible reading over the course of this past week, uh, I've moved into Exodus. And Exodus, of course, is telling the story of God's people who uh, at the beginning, you know, Joseph 
God had, had, had allowed for Joseph to be sold into slavery into Egypt. Uh, it, and the purpose was that the, the world could be saved. The world of those days, the, 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 the known world of that time uh, had gone into famine and God used Joseph to save his people, to save the people of Egypt, save all the people around from starvation. And it was amazing. But over the years, we discover that a new Pharaoh came to power. And, and in time, people forgot all about Joseph. They forgot about what he'd done. They forgot about why God's people were really there. And uh, in the end, what happened is they enslaved God's people and uh, they used them as their their workforce. Uh, God's people were oppressed. Uh, they were they were it was completely an unjust situation, uh, and they were they were a broken people. Uh, it was it was really tough. And uh, it, it says during that long period, at the end of chapter two, the king of Egypt died. The Israelites groaned in their slavery and cried out, and their cry for help because of their slavery went up to God. God heard their groaning and he remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. So God looked on the Israelites and was concerned about them. Folks, if there were ever a question over whether God hears your prayers, whether as we pray together as God's people, uh, you know, there's times, of course, you know, when it seems like our prayers aren't being answered, it seems like our prayers are just bouncing off uh, the the ceiling. Um, It's just not true. God hears our, us and he is concerned about us. And as we see in the next chapters, it wasn't straight away that God answered those prayers. It wasn't straight away uh, that suddenly they were all freed from slavery. But God used his servant Moses and in preparing him uh, for what lay ahead uh, to, to come back and to save his people from from captivity, from slavery in Egypt, and uh, with God's help to to lead them into the promised land. It's a beautiful story of freedom, of redemption, but actually it's the story that the whole Bible points to. When we look forward to the cross, when we look forward to Jesus, who in time came in order to save us from the slavery of sin and sin's consequences of death and destruction in in our lives and, and in our world, and to bring us into the freedom of life in its, all, its, all of its fullness in relationship with God now and forever. That's the story of redemption. That's the story of freedom uh, that the Bible tells us about. Uh, and if there were ever, ever a question of whether God hears us and answers us, well, that question has been dealt with once and for all. He heard his people before and he answered them and he freed them. He heard the, the people's groaning uh, over all of time and he knew what needed to be be done. And so he sent his son to save us. He hears us now uh, when we cry out to him and we know he will answer. It may not be the ways that we expect or even uh, hope for, uh, but they're his ways and his ways are always better ways. They're always higher and they always have uh, a God's eye view and focus. So let's pray together now as we cry out to him, knowing that he hears us and that he answers. Heavenly Father, we thank you Uh, that you do hear us. We thank you that you do answer when we cry out to you. We thank you for for how you've shown yourself faithful to your people of old and and how you've shown yourself faithful once and for all in the work and person of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, as we begin to prepare our hearts, looking ahead towards the cross, Father, help us to remember the, the wonderful freedom that you have brought us into through Christ. And and help us to remember the wonderful hope that we have because of him. Uh, But Father, help us to remember that it's because of Jesus that we live. It's because of Jesus that we have your life at work in us. And it's because of Jesus uh, that we now have that relationship with you that we were made for, your Holy Spirit at work in us. And Father, we pray that even as we cry out, you would put your prayers on our hearts so that we would be able to pray the things that, that, uh, of you and, 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 and delight in seeing your kingdom come, your will be done here on earth 
as it is in heaven. And Father, we do pray as our whole world groans at the moment for, uh, for freedom from coronavirus. We pray, Father, for an end to this pandemic. We pray, Father, that you would hear us and that you release us from the, the darkness of this sickness and that you would bring us into freedom and life. But Father, don't allow some of the lessons that we might learn in this time to be lost or to be wasted. I, I pray, Father, that in this time you would help us as your people to grow in faith, to grow in strength, and to come back stronger from uh, this, this time of separation and in this time of pandemic. I pray, Father, that you would allow that your people all around the world would grow in strength, that th this wouldn't be a time of shrinking back or of wasting opportunities, but we would take time uh, that is given to us to take time out to be with you, uh, to, to, to spend time in your word, to get to know you more, to, to pray and to cry out to you. And Father, I just pray uh, that even this week, as we pray, as we cry out to you, that we will see uh, a prayer request being answered, that we will see uh, even uh, miracles that we have been hoping for, praying for, uh, beginning to be realized and, and coming into our reality, that your wonderful blessings of the future of heaven breaking into our lives, into our world, into our time. We pray, Father, and we pray all of this for your glory and for your honor, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that you are here with us now. We thank you that you hear our voice when we cry out to you. We thank you that you're concerned about us. What an amazing thing that Almighty God is concerned about me and about you. What a wonderful, wonderful God we serve. And I pray, Father, in the days ahead, you will remind us of your faithfulness again and again. Uh, of the joy that it is to know you, to love you, to serve you, and the wonder that it is to be called your own, to be a child of the living God and to be brought into your family. Father, we thank you for all of these things and so much more and pray your blessing upon all God's people, particularly upon St. Mary's and our uh, church family uh, and those we love today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, folks, great to catch up with you today um, and just look forward to everything going on this week. If you have any questions, as always, let us know. If, if you're in need in this time, if there's something going on in your life and, and, and you need help or would like prayer, please don't keep it to yourself. Don't struggle in silence. Uh, let me know and uh, we would love to, to pray with you and to, to help if and where uh, we can. The Lord bless you and look forward to seeing you again soon.